Hello and welcome back to my channel Lady T. Uh, today we have another bookstore visit. This time we are going to Riemer in Groningen, which is all the way up north in the Netherlands. And first thing you'll notice in this video is that the audio is uh, quite isn't as good as it used to be. That's because my Yeti microphone died. Rest in peace. And uh, well, I can order a new one, but I don't have the funds right now, so I will have to wait until my paycheck comes in. Um, so until then, um, I'm just going to be using my old microphone, which is not the best quality ever, but it gets the job done. So for now, I'm just going to be using this one just so that I can still make videos because that is main reason why I haven't uploaded videos lately. Uh, I have been also have been very busy with work and with school and all the deadlines at the end of the first year. So um, yeah, it has been very busy and I didn't really want to make videos because I didn't have my good microphone. But I got over myself and I got over the loss of my old microphone and for now this will just have to do yeah now you can see some images or some clips of me in the train going to Groningen uh, one of my best friends uh, actually lives nearby so she went on her bicycle and I had to um, it wasn't an hour I had to be in the train for about 55 minutes which is alright because I love train rides so I'm, I was completely fine as you can see the weather wasn't. I personally I love rain but a lot of people don't like it so I know it's bad weather for most people. But here are some pictures of we finally arrived and these are some pictures of uh, Gronia and this is the station itself. A very old building I absolutely love it. Amsterdam also has the old building still for the station. I just think it adds a lot of character to a city if they keep those old buildings and don't bulldoze everything and trying to spice things up and make it a modern city. Just let old things exist. So this is one photo of the market. My friend was like we have this big market in Fronia and the, it was about one street so <laughs> it wasn't that long. It wasn't a long street I have to add. Um, so yeah, and there was this adorable horse. I love animals and we're going to dive a little deeper into that quite soon. But I saw that little horse and I wanted to take a ride but my friend was like, no, we're going to walk, that's healthier for us. And she's right. But now we're going to arrive at a very adorable cafe, a cat cafe, or a cat cafe as we say in Dutch, uh, op zijn kop or upside down. Which is a cafe where cats roam around and you can cuddle them, you can hug them, you can just do your own thing and read and they can lie next to you and you can play with them and sometimes they just do their own thing because hey they're cats. So uh, these are some pictures of the rules and the kind of cats that they have. This cat was really, uh, it was a big cat who was very soft, so incredibly soft and so incredibly cute. And there was one cat who only had three legs, he had lost his left back leg and he also was dead. And they have these little pillows for reserve for the cats, it was so adorable. I got some very cool postcards from, from this little cafe. You can have a drink, you can order food, you're just not allowed to give it to the cats of course. And they're just chilling out everywhere. And they have a little space at the back where they can uh, go back if they don't want to be around humans. So it's very considerate to the, towards the cats. Like they're just napping, they're napping on the chairs. It's, it was adorable. And they also had tables for little games like we were playing Memory here. And I wanted to play a game because I was hoping that one of the cats would join us or would actually sit down next to us. But I think we were a little too loud or something like that because the cats were chilling in the front of the shop. They didn't come towards us. But then after the cafe we continued on and we actually went to the bookshop that I was there to visit, Riemer. 
and from the outside it looks very small. It, I thought that we would be done looking around in like 10 minutes or so. So I was a little unimpressed when I first walked in. But as you continue walking through the store, you notice these little nooks and crannies hidden and every turn you take you see more and more bookshop. So it was very fun to go on like a little discovery tour and discover that the store was much bigger inside than it appeared to be outside. Just like the TARDIS from Doctor Who. And they, I love cards and what I didn't know about this bookstore was, um, I thought it was just uh, a normal bookstore and it, I suppose it is, but they had a lot of uh, religious items there. Like not just Bibles but a lot of Christian necklaces and bracelets and yeah it, it was really fun to discover that that the bookshop itself seemed to appear to be so religious and don't worry it wasn't all about religion but there was just a lot of stuff and it was fun to discover that because I have been on a religious journey for myself for quite some time so it was fun to discover and here's the children's nook um, which I absolutely adore. Deep down in my heart, I'm still a child, uh, <laughs> I think. And we're going to see it in the pictures very soon, but they had the two corners for the children and they were connected. Uh, as an adult, you could just walk around and you would go from room to room. But for the children, there, it was a little, there was a little way between the between the two rooms, look here, a little cove that only they can walk through because we would, as adults, you would have to crawl through them. But look at that little adorable door. It's so cute because it's so small. I, if I ever will have children, I would love to take them here just to experience that. And they had a lot of beautiful books. And here they had the downstairs. I don't have pictures of that because the lighting wasn't very good. But there were some things that were on sale or things that just had to get rid of. And some more expensive things. So it was a lot of fun. And they have a little cafe here where you can sit and you can just read. I love when bookshops do that. I absolutely love it. Actually the one that I already showed you of the city where I lived in, uh, Wanders in Zwolle, that um, recently got a reading nook. They have it up all the way on the fourth floor and every Friday and Saturday you can read there and there you can order some, some cool things like pie and tea and coffee and I just absolutely love it when bookshops do that. And the fun thing is that my friend often goes to the bookshops in Groningen but she has never been to Riemer. She always goes to this bookshop, bookstop, shop, ha, <laughs> words, uh, Van der Velde. Uh, and I spoke to someone else, one of my other friends who lived, used to live for quite a couple of years in Groningen and they didn't understand what I was talking about when I mentioned Riemer. So Riemer is uh, not in the main city, it is a little further off and there aren't really any shops close by so this is one of the well-known bookshops and it was very pretty, very modern which isn't really my style but what I loved was that upstairs they actually had uh, also had a little cafe that you could pour yourself a drink I think because we didn't sit down so I didn't really check but there were some nooks here and there where there were chairs and you could sit and there were lovely views of the little square and yeah the employees were they were very busy it was a very busy day and there were a lot of people there I actually picked up a book here about a dog who and his owner and the owner gets missing and then the dog has to go looking for him lately I've been having a thing for stories with featuring animals in the main lead yeah you can describe look this is one of those little nooks that I was talking about it was very relaxing actually to walk upstairs downstairs there were a lot of people and I don't know it was a little busy and I like things a little quieter and then we went on a merry way because we had to go to the final bookshop of the day 
which is once again it is version 2.0 from Butler Velde, where we just visited, but they have two shops here in Gronia. So we also went to this one and it had a bit of a different vibe. It had this checkered floor in some parts of the store and there was just this giant big red staircase in the middle of it. And at first I didn't really like it, but look at the pictures above the bookshelves. It was so much fun to just see that and it gave so much atmosphere and they have this, these little cards on display all around the column there so four walls of just cards displayed and I don't know I like that I dig that I like it when you can see that people actually put thought into how they want to display the stuff they have to offer and then we're going upstairs as you can see very slowly very, very, very slowly. Even the narrator thinks it's slow. And then you go upstairs and there was a bit of a different vibe going up there. You still have the red from downstairs but it was... There were darker colors here and they had some... It was very fascinating because they had some clothes from different era, eras um, displayed on mannequins. and. There was just an older vibe going. Downstairs it was more modern kind of style and a little more in your face. And look, like this. They also had nooks and crannies to read here, but more old fashioned. More my style. So, personally I like the upstairs better than the downstairs area. But the employees here were very friendly, they were very helpful. And they have amazing stuff at sale here. Um, gonna, I, I took some pictures of some books that I don't want to forget to get later on when I have money again because this is the end of the month for me and I'm poor at the moment. No, it's 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 fine. <laughs> well, you get me. I'm a student sometimes at the end of the month I'm broke. Um, the Bedlam stacks looks very fascinating to me as you can see. I am drawn to books because of the cover and I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But a cover, a good cover, really sells the inside too. Oh, and the flowers. Yeah, they had beautiful flowers in the last shop, Van der Velde, and this one too. They really have someone to make their bouquets, I think, because it looks awesome. And here they also had a giant big black horse in the middle of the shop. I'm not sure why, but I like it. It belongs with the style, I think. And for a final visit here in Groningen we went to Toet which is a dessert store I guess yeah it's sort of a dessert store uh, here it says made with love and I didn't really taste that because the cheesecake was kind of awful I will say that but that is just my opinion they had these edible flowers on them which which was okay it makes made it look cool but I didn't really like the taste of the cheesecake so that was a bit of a shame and I don't know as you can see by the pictures it was very busily decorated but I kind of liked it it had its own charm and they make every dessert by hand they make everything on their own so I really liked that because a lot of bakeries here in the Netherlands just sell pre-made stuff so I was happy about it and I had mint tea so I was completely happy but this is the end of the video, so I hope you liked it and I hope I will see you again next time. Goodbye!